This morning, another Los Angeles hospital is reporting cases of a deadly superbug. Four patients at Cedar Sinai Medical Center have the drug resistant bug known as CRE. The hospital blames the spread on a contaminated medical scope. That is the same type of device that led to an outbreak infecting at least seven people at the UCLA Medical Center between October and January. Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook is with us. John, good morning. Good morning. Okay, another hospital, but involving the same medical device. How concerned should we be? I'm very concerned about this one, okay, and I want to point out we're not talking about a colonoscopy that people get or the typical upper endoscopy for heartburn or also type pain. We're talking about a special type of scope, and the problem is that these two hospitals followed the protocol according to the investigation and yet they, for cleaning, and yet they still got the infection. So that makes you wonder, is the protocol correct? But wasn't this a new type of medical device? They had upgraded it, and the FDA had not yet approved this new version of the device. They had tweaked it and changed the, the, the little, at the very tip of the scope, there's an elevator device, and they had changed that. And so, yes, they were pending approval of that. But the FDA pointed out to me yesterday that all three manufacturers have had the same uh, type of infection report. So it's not just the Olympus scope. Okay, so they've had other complaints. Yeah. yeah. So what is the scope used for, John? And is it the scope, or is it the way the scope is cleaned? Well, it's a combination. It's probably the, the scope is used to most typically to look at things like gallstones. You have a gallstone that's stuck in the duct that goes down from the gallbladder down into the intestine. You want to try to deliver that stone. And it's a terrific procedure. A million of them are done a year, and it saves a more complicated operation to remove the stone. Mm -hmm. The problem is that the tip of that scope has this elevator device that's really tough to clean. You have to get under it. You have to scrub it. And so right now, the protocol is to try to do it uh, a certain way. There's a, there's a description of it in the manual, and you do it uh, maybe a combination of scrubbing it with brushes and then also doing it uh, with an automated cleaner. But even though they're doing that, they're still getting the infection. So now the, the medical centers are stuck with the, the situation of, I want to do belt and suspenders. I kind of know what the belt is. That's yeah. just scrubbing it like, like crazy. What's the suspenders? Not quite sure what should they do. What are patients supposed to do? Suppose I'm going in for a procedure. Anybody's going in for a procedure. Okay, if what it's a I colonoscopy, if it's an upper endoscopy that hasn't been reported with that, so you're okay. But if it's an <laughs> ERCP in particular, that's the specialized type of procedure, you should talk uh, to the doctor about exactly what type of cleaning they're doing. And I think, <clears throat> Gail, I think this may be the tip of the iceberg because the reason why this was discovered was that when you're infected with CRE in your bloodstream, it's a 50% mortality rate. So they finally figured oh. out, oh, it's linked. Oh. And that's, that's how it scary. pops up. Mm -hmm. But now they're saying it may be some other organisms, all the other type of intestinal organisms that are also there, too. I think we're seeing just the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. All right. I know your monitor. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, John Luke.